Are you struggling to feel confident in English conversations? How do you feel about meetings? You want to learn how to have effective business English conversation with clients and colleagues? You're in the right place. In today's podcast, I'm going to walk through a complete client meeting scenario. I'll cover how to make a great first impression, understand your client's needs, present effective solutions, negotiate terms, and build long-term relationships. By the end of this video, you'll have practical tips and strategies to boost your confidence and improve your business communication skills. I'm Grant. I'm an executive business English communication confidence coach. I've helped many non-native English-speaking professionals like you become more confident and effective in their business communication. I'm a big believer that if you want to improve your confidence, you need to have as much English-speaking practice as possible. I developed this podcast to help you have English-speaking practice as you say all of the words I say in this English conversation. I created this conversation as a conversation that I, as a Native American English speaker, would have with a non-Native English-speaking business professional. This is a very realistic business English conversation. Effective communication is key to building successful business relationships. Whether you're attending meetings, negotiating deals, or collaborating with colleagues, the ability to communicate clearly and confidently can make a huge difference in your career. This video is designed to provide you with practical skills and insights that you can apply immediately. By the end of this video, you'll know how to handle a client meeting from start to finish, ask the right questions, present your ideas clearly, and build strong, lasting relationships with your clients. If you find this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more business communication tips. And don't forget, to hit that little notification bell so you never miss an update. Let's get started. I will break this video down into five sections so that you can take your time and use the timestamps in the description for your English speaking practice. In each section, you will see me speaking to a gentleman named John. I can't make a good female voice, so I'll keep this as two male voices. Are you ready? Here we go. Section one, initial meeting and introductions. Welcome to this first part of my client meeting practice. In this section, I'll focus on making a good first impression. It's important to be friendly and professional when you meet a new client. Let's get started. Hello, thank you for meeting me today. Now the voice of John, which you will be John when you're practicing with me. Hello, thank you for having me. My name is Grant. Can you please tell me your name and, and a little bit about your company? Yes, my name is John. I work at Creative Technology. We're a tech company specializing in software development. Nice to meet you, John. Yeah. Can you tell me more about the projects your company is working on? Sure. We are currently developing a new app to help people manage their finances. Oh, that sounds interesting. What kind of features will the app have? The app will have budget tracking expense management, and investment advice. Those are very useful features. How long have you been working on this project? We started about six months ago and are planning to launch in the next three months. That's great to hear. It sounds like you've made a lot of progress. Yes, we have a dedicated team working on it. 
it's important to have a strong team. How many people are working on this project? We have a team of 10 people, including developers, designers, and project managers. That's a good sized team. What has been the biggest challenge so far? The biggest challenge has been integrating all the features smoothly and making sure the app is user-friendly. I can imagine that would be a complex task. Have you done any user testing? Yes, we have done some beta testing and received valuable feedback from users. That's excellent. User feedback is crucial for improving the product. What kind of feedback did you receive? Users liked the features, but suggested we make the interface more intuitive and add more tutorials. That's helpful feedback. Making the app easy to use will definitely attract more users. Yes, we are working on improving the interface and adding more tutorials before the launch. It sounds like you're on the right track. I look forward to seeing the app when it launches. All right, there, as you can see, asking about the client's projects and showing interest really helps build a connection, helps build rapport, and really helps build trust. In the next section, I'll focus on understanding the client's needs. Should we continue? Understanding the client's needs. Welcome back. In this section, I will focus on understanding the client's needs. Asking the right questions helps us understand how we can help them. Let's continue our conversation. It's great to hear about your app development progress. Now, I'd like to understand more about your current challenges and how we can assist you. What are some of the biggest challenges your company is facing right now? One of the main challenges is our marketing strategy. We need help reaching more customers and increasing user engagement. Marketing is crucial, especially for a new app. Can you tell me more about your current marketing efforts? We use social media and email marketing, but we are not getting enough engagement. I see. Which social media platforms are you using? We are active on Facebook, Instagram, and X. Those are good platforms. How often do you post content? We post three times a week on each platform. Consistency is key. What kind of content do you usually post? We post updates about the app, tips on financial management, and some user testimonials. Those are great content ideas. Have you tried any paid advertising on these platforms? Yes, but we haven't seen a significant increase in engagement. Paid ads can be tricky. It's important to target the right audience. Do you have a specific audience in mind? Our target audience is young professionals who are looking to manage their finances better. That's a good target group. Have you tried any collaborations or partnerships to expand your reach? No, we haven't explored that option yet. Collaborations can be very effective. Partnering with influencers or financial bloggers can help you reach a wider audience. Is there a particular type of collaboration you think would work well for your app? I think collaborating with financial advisors or bloggers who have a large following could be beneficial. That's a great idea. We can help you identify and reach out to potential partners. Also, have you considered improving your email marketing strategy? Yes, but we are not sure how to make our emails more engaging. Personalization is key in email marketing. Tailoring the content to the interests and needs of your users can increase engagement. We can help you create personalized email campaigns. How does that sound? That sounds good. We could definitely use some help with that. Excellent. 
We can start by analyzing your current email list and segmenting it based on user behavior and preferences. This way, we can create more targeted and effective campaigns. Ah, a great job discussing your needs and your clients' needs. So by asking specific questions, we can better understand the challenges and to find effective solutions. In the next section, I will focus on presenting solutions that address these needs. Let's continue. Okay, we've been through a couple of these sections. So what I want you to do is I want you to go through and either play the video and speak with me, let me speak, then you speak, or you can do some English shadow experience. And you can practice your English shadowing where I speak and I use both voices, and then you do the same so that you say everything with me. I really want you to use these videos and this podcast to be able to practice your English speaking. I want your English conversation skills to become natural and normal. And that's why I've developed these. So use these videos. Don't just watch them. I want you to speak with me. Okay? All right. Let's get back and continue. Section three, presenting solutions. In this section, I will focus on presenting solutions that address the client's needs. It's important to explain clearly and show how our solutions can solve their problems. Let's continue my conversation. Based on what you've told me, it sounds like you have a solid foundation, but need some help with your marketing strategy and user engagement. Let's discuss some solutions we can offer to help you. Yes, that would be very helpful. What do you suggest? First, we can help you with a comprehensive marketing strategy. We will start by enhancing your social media presence. This includes creating more engaging content and posting more frequently. We can also help you run targeted ads to reach young professionals who are interested in managing their finances. That sounds good. How will you create more engaging content? We will create a mix of content types, including informative posts, videos, and interactive content, like polls and quizzes. This will help keep your audience engaged and interested. I see. What about the targeted ads? We will use data analytics to identify the best audience for your ads. This includes demographics, interests, and online behavior. Then we will create ad campaigns that speak directly to their needs and interests. That makes sense. What about collaborations and partnerships? We will identify influencers and bloggers in the finance industry who have a large following. We can then reach out to them for potential collaborations, such as sponsored posts, guest blogs, or joint webinars. This will help you tap into their audience and, and build credibility. That sounds promising. What about email marketing? How can we make it more effective? We will start by segmenting your email list based on user behavior and preferences. Then we will create personalized email campaigns that offer valuable content, such as financial tips, app updates, and special promotions. Personalization can significantly increase engagement rates. That would be great. How do we begin? We will start with an audit of your current marketing efforts to understand what's working and what needs improvement. Then we will develop a detailed plan and begin implementing the strategies. We will also set up regular check-ins to review progress and make adjustments as needed. I like that approach. 
how long will it take to see results? You should start seeing some initial improvements within the first few weeks, especially with the social media and email campaigns. However, building a strong and effective marketing strategy takes time, so you can expect significant results in about three to six months. That's reasonable. I am looking forward to working together on this. We are excited to work with you too. Together, we can achieve great results and help your app reach its full potential. There, by clearly explaining how we can help, we build trust and show our value to the client. In the next section, I will focus on discussing terms and making sure both parties agree on the next steps. Shall we continue? Discussing terms and negotiations. In this section, I will focus on discussing the terms of our collaboration and negotiating any details. It's important to be clear and make sure both sides agree on the next steps. Let's continue my conversation. Now that we have discussed the solutions, let's talk about the terms and how we can move forward. And for this project, we offer a few options. We can start with a three month plan and see how it works for you. What is the cost of the three month plan? The cost is $5,000. This includes all services we discussed, enhancing your social media presence, running targeted ads, identifying and reaching out to potential collaborators, and improving your email marketing strategy. That seems a bit high. Can we start with a smaller project first? Yes, we can start with a one month plan for $2,000. This way, you can see our work before committing to a longer plan. The one month plan will include an audit of your current marketing efforts, a detailed strategy, and initial implementation of the key elements. That sounds more manageable. What happens after the one month plan? After the one month plan, we will review the progress and results together. If you're satisfied with the improvements, we can then extend our collaboration to the three month plan or even longer. We're flexible and can adjust the plan based on your needs and feedback. That makes sense. What kind of results can we expect in the first month? In the first month, you should see an increase in social media engagement better targeted ads, and more personalized email interactions. While significant results take time, these initial improvements will set a strong foundation for long-term success. Okay, that sounds promising. Can we also set up regular meetings to review the progress? Absolutely. We will have weekly check-ins to discuss progress, address any concerns, and make necessary adjustments. Communication is key to ensuring we are on the right track. That's good to hear. What if we need to make changes to the plan during the project? We are flexible and can adjust the plan as needed. If you find that Certain strategies are working well or need to shift focus, we can make those changes. Our goal is to meet your needs and help you achieve your goals. Great. I feel more comfortable starting with the one month plan. I'm glad to hear that. We will send over a detailed proposal with the terms and next steps. Once you review it and approve it, we can get started right away. Do you see how clear communication and flexibility are essential for ensuring both parties are satisfied with the agreement? In, in the next section, I will focus on building a long-term relationship and ensuring ongoing success. Let's continue.
building a relationship. It's great that we've agreed on the one month plan to start. Building a strong relationship is key to our mutual success. Let's talk about how we can maintain good communication and ensure we meet your needs moving forward. Yes, I agree. Regular communication is important. We will have weekly check-ins to review progress and address any concerns. These meetings will help us stay on track and make sure everything is going well. How do you prefer to communicate for these check-ins? Email, phone calls, or video meetings? I prefer video meetings. It's more personal and easier to discuss things in detail. Great choice. Video meetings allow us to have more engaging conversations. We will schedule our first meeting for next week. Is there a specific day and time that works best for you? Tuesday mornings work well for me. Tuesday mornings it is. I will send a calendar invite to confirm. During these meetings, we will review the results, discuss any feedback, and make necessary adjustments. Is there anything specific you want to focus on during these check-ins? I would like to focus on the social media engagement and email campaign results. Understood. We will prioritize those areas in our reviews. Also, feel free to reach out anytime between meetings if you have any questions or need assistance. We're here to support you. That's reassuring to know. I appreciate your availability. Absolutely. We want to make sure you feel supported throughout this process. Building a long-term relationship is not just about the work we do, but also about the trust and reliability. We will keep you informed of our progress and any new ideas we have to improve your marketing strategy. I appreciate that approach. It helps me feel confident about working together. I'm glad to hear that. As we move forward, we'll also look for opportunities to celebrate milestones and successes. Recognizing achievements, no matter how small, is important for motivation and growth. I agree. Celebrating progress keeps the team motivated. Exactly. And as we continue to work together, we will seek your feedback regularly to ensure we are meeting your expectations and delivering value. Your input is crucial to our success. I will definitely provide feedback. It's important for both of us. Thank you. Your feedback helps us improve and serve you better. Lastly, let's talk about future goals. What are your long-term objectives for the app and your marketing strategy? Our long-term goal is to become a leading financial management app in the market. We want to continuously improve and add new features based on user feedback. That's an excellent goal. We will work with you to create a roadmap that supports your long-term objectives. By focusing on continuous improvement and staying adaptable, we can achieve great things together. <laughs> we did it. <laughs> so what I tried to do in this conversation was build a relationship, build trust. Establishing trust and maintaining good communication are just really essential for long-term success. So this is the end of this conversation. What I want this to be is an opportunity for you to participate in real business conversations. Now, these are conversations that I would have with anybody. So in this case, as I said at the beginning, I'm a native English speaker. I'm meeting with a non-native English speaking business professional. This is exactly the script, the words, the conversation that I would have with somebody like this. I wouldn't memorize this. 
But what I want you to be able to do is use some of these phrases, some of these terms, become familiar, become confident using some of these things. So I really want you to practice your English speaking shadow. Shadow me. I speak, you speak. Please use these. Use all my videos as a tool to help your speaking experience. I want you to do as much English speaking practice as you can. I'm here to change your life because I want to give you the confidence to feel great using English to do anything you want to do. But to do that, you have a responsibility. Your responsibility is to speak. Don't just watch these videos. Use them. Use them as a tool. Please let me know what you think about this format. It's the first time I've used this format. I have plans to use a lot of these going forward, but I want to hear from you. So please comment. You guys do a great job commenting. I really appreciate it. I answer all your comments. So please let me know what you think about this. And if this is something you can use, I have hundreds of topics that I could do this with and I plan to do this with. I'll continue to do everything I can to help change your life give you the confidence that you need to achieve all your dreams and goals. Thank you again for watching. Please like this video, subscribe to the channel, share your comments, and I also invite you to learn your Business English Confidence Score. You'll find the link in the description below this video.